Hello, my name is Melissa Hernandez, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to achieve this fun 70s bold makeup look. To prep my eyes for eyeshadow today, I'm just gonna go in with a tiny bit of concealer, and this is just gonna help cover up any discoloration that we may have on the eyelids. When applying this on the lids, you just wanna gently tap the product, and the reason why you wanna tap is so that you don't move the product around. To create a mod 70s look today, I'm going to be using the Zoeva Karma Melange Palette. As a first step, I'm going to be going into the color Aftertaste using a flat shader brush. And then I'm going to gently start patting that on the eyelid. And I'm mostly focusing the color on the lid as we're going to use another color as a transition. And you want this color to make sure to be really saturated. And the reason why I'm tapping is because we didn't set the concealer that we first applied as a base. This eyeshadow is gonna help set that and it's gonna help our eyeshadow last all day. As a second step, I'm gonna jump into the color Alchemy using a fluffy blending brush to diffuse the first shade we used. Because I have hooded eyes and you can't physically see my crease, what I like to do is slightly tilt my head back and that allows me to blend right in this area. So I'm gonna tilt my head back, close my eye, and I'm just gonna softly, using very little pressure, start diffusing the first shade. And I'm just using windshield wiper motions, just going back and forth from the inner eye to the outer eye, just making sure that that color is nice and diffused. Because this look is mod, I wanna make sure to keep the eye shape very round. So as you can see, I'm not pulling it out, I'm keeping it very round. And I want it to be super blown out and diffused. So this second shade is really going to help blend everything together. And I'm gonna blend it into the brow bone so that everything is just very soft and blown out and pretty and mod. Next, I'm gonna be going into the color Wax Paper, and this is a beautiful bone-colored shade, and this is gonna help make our brow bone pop. So I'm gonna take a flat shader brush, and I'm just very gently gonna pat that right on the brow bone, and this is gonna help make the arch of our brow pop. And then with whatever's left over, I'm just gonna slowly blend downward, just to make sure that everything is nice and diffused. To tie the look together, I'm gonna to use a small pencil brush and I'm gonna go into the color Aftertaste. And I'm just gonna slowly start applying that on my lower lash line. And I'm making sure to connect this outer corner here so that we get that really rounded, mod look that we're after. Using a big, bulky blending brush, I'm gonna pick up the color Alchemy, which is the color we used in our crease, and I'm gonna slowly hit that right on my lower lash line, and I'm just gonna diffuse aftertaste. I just wanna make sure to bring it pretty low, and just make sure that everything is nice and blended on this outer corner. And notice I'm doing this kind of round shape, because again, we wanna make sure to keep this eye really round. Now I'm gonna give my lashes a good curl before going in with mascara. And a good tip when curling your lashes is I like to look down and to the left when I'm curling my right eye. And this is gonna allow you to fully get in and squeeze every lash. And then as I'm squeezing, I'm also gonna tilt my eyelash curler upwards. And this is really gonna give the lashes a nice lifted feel. As a very last step for eyes, I'm gonna go in with mascara. And I'm gonna go in with a pretty generous amount because I really want to get a retro lash look. So I'm gonna apply that pretty heavily. The trick to building your mascara is to go in with two to three coats and you wanna wait about a minute between each coat. That way you get a really full lash. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on my lower lashes. I'm gonna apply two to three coats and I'm gonna wait about one minute between each coat. 
To finish off the look, I'm gonna be going in with this Pacifica Desert Sunset Matte Blush and Bronzer. And I'm just gonna pick that up using a big fluffy base brush. And I'm going to find the center of my ear. I'm gonna smile. And do you guys see this shadow right here? I'm gonna go right along that shadow and then I'm gonna brush upwards. And this is gonna give us a really nice hollow cheek. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply this really beautiful blush. And this is really gonna tie the look in together because it has similar undertones to the color that we have on our eyes. So I'm just gonna smile and I'm gonna apply that right on the apple of the cheek. And then I'm gonna blend it back into the bronzer. And you can instantly see how now it looks nice and monochromatic. To finish off the look, I'm gonna be going in with a neutral lipstick and this is gonna help keep the focus on the eyes. That completes today's look. This is such a beautiful spin on a 70s eye. It's modern, it's fun, it's fresh, it's bold, and it's perfect for every day or it's perfect for a night on the town.